Tell me this family isn't the most... Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, tell me it's not the most wholesome family you've ever seen, and then... Re -e -re -e <gasps> the toddlers can interact with her. Oh, my gosh. What do they do? Oh, she's rocking in the chair. Hey, my little peach roonies. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to some more of my Rags to Riches Eco Lifestyle Challenge. Hope you guys are feeling peachy. You're probably wondering why I'm in cuss. No, the twins have not aged up. However, I am expecting them to age up in today's episode. So we'll get to dress them up. And it's going to be really exciting and really cute. And they won't be babies anymore. Which is obviously majorly amazing because babies are very hard work and very annoying. And we get to enter the world realm of toddlers which are even worse however i thought we would come here just so i could kind of play dress up with these guys a little bit more because i do enjoy dressing them up it is a great deal of fun and we've started to see akinai that you know has kind of started to come into his own a little bit nowadays he's dressing a little bit sharper it only took his life becoming a total wreck and accidentally causing a pregnancy for him to get this way but you know different strokes for different folks so yeah i want to kind of sharpen up his dress sense what i haven't accounted for is is the fact that I can't dress men for summer. I have a lot of cool stuff for winter. Oh, wow, that's broad chest. Summer though, I find hard. Like, Kenai might be trendy, but it doesn't mean I'm suddenly trendy, you know? So I just wanted to give him one more outfit because I feel like we're still in summer. So just before we head into winter, we've at least got something for him. I'm saying that if I get into the game and it's not summer, I'm gonna have to come back here and do everything all over again. It's nice dressing seasonally though, isn't it? It's a nice change. Okay, I'm lost. I literally have no idea how to make men dress trendy. However, for the good of humanity, I am going to get his guns out because I just feel like I need to do something good for the world. Like, it's nice to give back. So, you know, this doesn't even fit around his massive form. I was going to put a cross on him, but my boy is a god himself. He's a religion unto his own. So I don't know if it's even, there's no point really, is there? So we'll just give him a little chainy thing. Okay, it's not that much trendier, but I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Ivy, I absolutely love dressing. I love like her floral soft vibes. I think they are super, super cute. I might change this outfit because it is very nitty. I was reading something on Twitter, like a shared video of a bunch of like black creators on Twitter. And they said so often we don't end up seeing black women with a dainty aesthetic. Like there's just not enough love for that. And I feel like Ivy fits that really, really well. I'd never even given it a second thought, which is the problem, isn't it? A lot of us just don't think and we don't appreciate stuff like this. So I thought it was important to talk about it, but also to kind kind of, you know, have this beautiful, very dainty sim who is Ivy. She likes her florals. She likes doing her knitting. She's just like got a very cutesy vibe about her. And there isn't enough of that being showcased when it comes to, well, from what I've seen on Twitter when it comes to black people, but also perhaps also with black sims. So I thought we would stick to kind of dainty, cute, florally vibes for her. <gasps> like a little, a little patch. Where, um, what is this? It's what your school uniform was when you were in school. My school had this color, but then a school near us had red and then I think another school had this and that was like your dress when you were in primary school. I think it's so so cute. I'm gonna give her the same one my school had and then I know from being a fellow long hair owner that hair gets very hot and sticky in summer so I am gonna pop her hair up into this cute little style with I think I can put some little flowers in it. <gasps> she can still wear it. it keeps the band thing on her head if I do that that's so cute. What goes nice with blue? Maybe oh it's kind of going off a little bit though. I don't know what that's on. Is that as a piercing? There we go. That looks so cute. So there we go. I've given her some little matching earrings to go with it. I have realized I've given this on a day everyday outfit instead of a hot weather outfit, which was definitely a dumb move by me, but okay. And I'm right in thinking we are in summer. Please tell me we are in summer. Okay, we are. We're in summer. We're all good. Birthdays, birthdays. But this is today. <gasps> it's 11 20 p.m. What does that mean? Are they just gonna age up? I don't even know. What, what who are we sad about? In the presence of death. <gasps> from the restaurant. Okay, now remember the events of the last episode. Love that for me. And the babies are just outside. Okay, let's move the children in. They do now have their own cribs. I kind of forgotten I'd done that. I don't know if I've just swapped them around. Kind of nice if they have though, because you know, they need to know both of their children and not just look after whichever one happens to be in the same room as them. So there we go. Oh, nope, doesn't want the foodies. Oh, it's just stinky. It's just stinky, isn't it? Kinai, I know you're sleeping, but we've got a disaster going on here as well, please. Oh, if they're crying, and you don't know how to fix it. It makes them lose their relationship with you. I didn't realize that. That's kind of savage. Okay, the baby has stopped crying now. You need to pee. Oh, hello, a secret. And where is Kina? Is he's fixing this one. He's feeling confident. He got perfect skin. He's like, I'm glowing. Like, my skin is... Dinner. 
and it's pumping. My skin is pumping. Na 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 na. I don't know the song. <laughs> you were like, oh, we did see that sad person die, but oh, I'm very thoughtful about when we met the baby. He's gotten over it very well. These guys are, however, even though they went for their hot date and they got very flirty, that guy dying kind of killed the vibe a little bit. Not even gonna lie. Oh, one of you didn't do a good enough job. Oh, Kina, you were so sure of yourself, and now look, now look. But yeah, they had the whole great kind of uh, date. But then unfortunately, what ended up happening is someone died, ruined the vibe, and they're still sleeping in separate beds. And the money situation is doing really good. Our house is looking very eco. We have the most adorable room on the side. However, kind of low-key feeling like Ivy's just going to be like, I'm so sick of working for the man. Because she does get super annoyed about working for the man. Like, she talks about it an awful lot. So I'm kind of thinking she is going to be want to be like, you know, I want to quit my job soon. I did want to get her to level 10. She's on level 6. I want to get her to level 10, then I want her to quit and become a famous knitter, okay? I feel like there's a niche in the market for that. I feel like she could be a famous knitter. She could upload her little knitting pics on Instagram, sell her knitting on Popsy. She could become a famous knitter. I don't know why it's not a possibility. I feel like it should be, okay? Ivy can now give timeouts. <gasps> I never parent my children. This has made me realize I just don't really parent the kids. Kenai, since your job is like looking after the house, I need you to get up and start making the breakfast. Ivy, you got workies today. So after you've done your little knit knit, I'm going to make you do a nice morning brain boosting yoga routine to get you into the perfect vibe for the day. Kina, get up! To get you into the perfect vibe for the day. And then Kina will tend to the chickens. He's got a bunch of farming to do. He's got two screeching little screechers to look after. Got to keep up in that fabrication skill for his lifetime achievement award. He also needs to collect insects from the insect farm three times. I didn't know you could collect like the actual insects. What? Collect grub meal. This never works for me. This does not work for me. Also, my bills still don't work either. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing something very wrong. And then after you've done your little yogi bears, very wonderful, very wonderful. I'm going to send her on a little bit of a jig jog as well. I feel like part of being eco is also being healthy, at one with yourself, at one with nature and with the environment. Please can we change this disgusting diaper? As you can see, I am very at one with my sins. Oh, and we've got two days left to get married for money. I definitely low-key forgot about that one. I don't want to rush them into getting married though. You guys said it was a hoax and if I'd have just said no, Kina, are we gonna deal with the child? Please deal with the child and come back to the breakfast. You guys said that if I'd have just said no immediately, then I would have actually ended up with more money. Oh, we got a little screechy brat here as well. Please deal with this one too. No, I'm sorry you've just sat down for your breakfast, but having kids is not about sitting down for breakfast. Breakfast is a mobile activity when you're a parent, okay? Things are just gonna have to be a little bit different. And look at our girl. Girl, are you in it? Look. She always runs over the bridge like this. I mean, literally, it's more and more evidence that she is, in fact, Jesus herself. However, ooh, please harvest these little beanaroonies. Stop your run right now. She does run in her feet as well, which is kind of adorable. Yes, collected everything we needed. Okay, you may continue the jig jogs now. Oh, and <laughs> sorry, Keenai, did you think you were gonna get to, to do a little bit more of her eating? I do not think so. Do you hear him just do a big sigh? Keenai, I'm sorry, but you have a child, like. This is just the way of the warrior, you know? This is the way of the stay-at-home Papa Joe. And you need to rally voters for a community space project. In fact, it's easier just to send her to work. So I'm gonna send her to work. But grab your little shower first. Kenai, I know you want to get on with the gardening, but can you, in fact, put one of these in a sack lunch so that Ivy can bring it to work? Because that's just really freaking cute. And then get a shower. What is wrong with you? Get a shower after that. Oh, look. Here's a little lunch. Can I give it as a gift? Oh, you're feeling passionate. Okay. Come in and put the in your inventory and then you've got oh my gosh they there they go again what are you dressed in poison ivy when you shower you are so eco babes look at you you are fully you're a plant sim you are a plant sim and now you can go in fact take your shower after you've done your workout as well you come and practice some punching for your workout and then after that i will allow you to have a shower you've headed into work you've got your little fun packed food please work hard and then the babies are sleeping okay brilliant <gasps> And, oh my gosh, the bills are fixed. The bills are fixed. Okay. That is the first time I've seen fixed bills. Nisa's gone to chart. That's fine. I don't know if you can chart in the shower, in the bubble bath. Are you having a bubble bath? Okay. But the bills are actually fixed. We have to pay bills for the first time. Oh, <gasps> what? We, the bills are back on. The bills are back in business. But it's fine because look how much money we will get from selling. Like, honestly, having farming is so OP, but I'm there for it. <gasps> and I said I was going to get kids stuff for the yard. Oh my gosh, cute, cute, cute.
Also, why don't you guys have bikes? Hello? That's like the most eco thing you can buy. Also, apparently we live in a very trusting neighborhood. Okay, there you go. You guys have bikes now. And let's get some stuff ready for the toddlers. Like a little pool. A little, a little slide. I don't quite know where the toddlers are gonna go yet. If you guys were living together or sleeping together, things would be so much easier, but you ain't, so I've got to compromise. I don't usually get the ball pit because, I mean, it's trash. However, we'll get it for you guys. There we go. Some cute stuff. And then, just because we like things to be realistic. What are these paths called where when you naturally tread paths? Oh, this is fake grass. This is not real grass. I kind of forgot about that. But how do I delete it all now? Oh, like that. Okay, Brill. Oh, also, someone in the Discord said that my lot wasn't flat. And that's why I was getting the bug before. So can I just flatten the whole lot? Okay. Apparently, Ned's flattened. Okay, I'm gonna fully re-landscape the house. Because what I thought would be cute to do would be to have, like, a little wiggly wiggly kind of vibes coming up here. That you could put, like, little busheroonies in between. Because I want to do this with my own house. So it's kind of like an experiment. Even though the sims will literally just laugh in my face at this they'll be like lol like you think we're actually gonna do the paths that you set out for us are you dumb so did you get what i mean it's like a little wiggly windy path that's what i'm trying to like do i don't know why i get these ideas when i already know i've got a bit of a limited time to film a certain episode but they just come over me and who am i to tell them no you know so yeah i thought we just kind of you know mix things up a little bit i kind of felt like the very sort of strict way that things were before wasn't very eco living vibes and this is like more eco living vibes so hopefully you guys agree okay now i really want to see those toddlers grow up and i've spent four grand doing that but look from the front it's just i want it to look wild i want it to look like they're attracting the bees you know that's enough bubble bath in he definitely chatted with nita in the bath as well because that call is not there anymore i wish you found gardening more fun because you need to do an awful lot of it hey coda do you want to hang out tonight it's 2 p.m in the afternoon you can come here why don't you come here oh and it's still crying it it's the child is still crying code is coming around hopefully he can just help us because we're struggling not gonna lie <gasps> and oh my gosh the baby's just aged up what i didn't get any notification or anything oh my gosh the baby's just aged up how did they just do that that is the most rude aging up i've ever ever seen okay randomize says fussy great 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 and prim is charming okay 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 well i'm sorry you guys are meant to have a little sit and chill out and a chit chat with king on the floor yet willow has sent misha a gift oh my gosh no coda sent a gift clover sent a gift rayla has sent a gift oh my gosh and ivy has been promoted at work okay hot pause hot pause because the first thing we need to do is check out the chidder because this one for some reason has the villarreal eyes that's prim no that's misha espen who will just become espen and this one has the brightest green eyes I've ever seen. You've both aged up, not the happiest bun buns. Let's head to cast and check you guys out. Okay, let's take that makeup off you, child. And let's also get rid of the hair. Okay, the eyes are intense. Also, I need to look at the skin coloring. So let's see what Ivy has. Ivy uses... Okay, go from this pink across one and up. And then Kenai uses... Okay, it's so pink and down. Okay, have you guys kids both got the exact same one? I guess you are twins. You've got this one and this kid's full of makeup as well. Oh my gosh. You have got this one. You both have the exact same one. How do I do this? Should I do one has a skin tone more like the father and one has one more like the mother? Or should I find something in between? Because Ivy and then... Kenai. If Ivy's here, Kenai's here. Maybe like here is in between. I'll use this as a guide for now. That is how it looks on this color wheel. Because on this color wheel, Ivy is here. What I mean is when I don't have all my filters on. But obviously, I do have all my filters on. So let's keep Prim there for now. So yes, my whole outfit has changed. I've just come back from my birthday meal. But we're back. <laughs> we're back on little Prim Prim. And I'm kind of like, so it's given Prim green eyes. And it's given Misha Villarreal eyes, which makes no sense. But I'm kind of thinking maybe Misha gets brown eyes and prim gets more greeny eyes like keen eye i don't know i just kind of feel like that could be a vibe and then maybe if we do that then maybe she also gets more keen eyes hair vibes i don't know i don't really know what to do about the hair yet let me just figure everything else out first 
Maybe something like this where it's like greeny brown. I think they're pretty cool. And then slap some good old overlays on you, my child. Okay, I like this Go Pulls Me one. I've got some lashes. I think both the parents have pretty beautiful lashes, so the children probably should as well. Also, I'm gonna put a little light smart run of freckles because I'm pretty sure Kenai now has frecks. Willow had frecks. Kenai, he's built up over time from being outdoors in the sun. Ivy. No, Ivy doesn't have the frecks. I don't know. I kind of want to give like one child some of Kenai and one child some of Ivy. And I kind of want to reverse the genders for that. But I can see quite a lot of Ivy in this child, I think. It's hard to tell when the toddlers because all toddlers in this game look the same. Also, as much as I would like to pass this on because I think it's really, really cool. I have been informed that it isn't a genetic trait. So it is kind of unlikely that the children would have it. Am I right in saying that? Oh, it does sometimes run in the family. And people that have it tend to have another person in their family with an autoimmune disease, not necessarily necessarily the same one. I am super tempted to give one of the children like a little patch of it. I don't know if it changes over time. I don't know. But again, I kind of want to swap the genders for that. Okay, and let's have a look at hair. I think that the chance of them inheriting either Ivy's hair or Kenai's hair, it's kind of like a mixed bug. And again, I kind of want to do a little bit of like a gender swap with the hair just because I think it would be kind of cute. Although I have better hair that's like the kind of curly sort of textured vibes for girls than I do for boys. <gasps> and you can't deny that this would be adorable. But then the boys' hairs are really cute as well. I kind of think it would be cute to do still curly but not as textured with Prim. And then for Espen, or is it Aspen? I kind of prefer Aspen. Kind of like a little bit more textured. Kenai's got very straight hair, although we did have a bit of a wave to it as a child. But as it's got longer, it's straightened out, which is also very common. Okay, so this is what we've got for Prim so far. <gasps> I want a mum to knit her clothes so badly. I want knitted clothes on this child so so badly. But I have to knit them first. We don't have them yet. So we've got this little cute dress. Okay, some little cute sandler bobs. Then, because we've got the pool, I've given her a little swim outfit. And I also think she needs a little hot weather outfit too. So I've got a little sun hat for her. So cute. And you know what? She is a bear. Like, at the end of the day, all of Willow's children forevermore will be bears. So we will give her the bear dress because someone needs it, okay? Someone just needs it. But I've given her the little hamster onesie because it kind of is, get, again, it looks like a bear. I'm never going to get over the bears. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Okay, so that's Prim done. I can't remember if we said Espen or Aspen. I don't know. I'm going to go Espen for now. And then you have a totally different vibe already. You've got a much wider head. I actually think the boy is more ivy. Like, Espen's more ivy and... Uh, and Prim is more Kenai, which is kind of good because I'm sort of switching the, the CC for each of them the opposite way around because I think it's the best way to see the other parent. But I think we could end up with a really Kenai girl and a really Ivy boy, which is really cool. I feel like that's like the best mix is top yourself just getting clones. And geez, his eyes are so intense. I feel like they're literally boring into my soul. Also, is it just me or are his eyes massive? Please become a more normal size by the time you age up. I shouldn't be worried because toddlers always have like freaking huge eyes and then they always like chill out a little bit as they get older. Right, I shouldn't be worried. It should be fine, please, please let it be fine. And then skin tone, we're gonna switch you. I don't mind changing them up a little bit over time. So maybe one of them skin ends up becoming more like Ivy's, one of them ends up becoming more like keen eyes as they age. But I think for now, let's put them onto the same skin tone. This child is pure Ivy. This could also came with a skin detail already on, which is actually keen eyes under eye bugs, which is kind of cool because there's a bit of and I already built in there. Like I said, I just wanted to give him just like, just a little bit so that there's a link with the mom there. I think it's a really interesting like characteristic and I don't want to only just have it for like one sim. And from what I've read, it can be passed on, but it's not so much that the actual skin condition gets passed on, it's potentially an autoimmune disease gets passed on. Let me know if I'm on the right lines there. Either way, I think it's a really nice like way for Ivy who has this condition, which I'm sure she's gone through difficulties in her life because of, but to like look into like her son's face and like, see the beauty of that condition and then like look at her own face and see it. I think that's like a nice thing. That would be with child Kenai's hair, which makes me see like, let me pull up child Kenai. Look, this was toddler Kenai. That's Ivy. That's pure Ivy. I kind of like the longer styles on the boys as well. I think that's so cute. Okay, so because Ivy's rocking the super curly natural hair at the moment, I thought we would do something similar for Espen. He's so cute. I am really hoping.
hoping that his eyes shrink just a little bit. Just a little bit before adulthood. That would be fub. Because I do have a thing about my sims having really huge eyes. So if we can make that not happen, I will be very happy. I love a good eye glint. So I'm going to give him some little eye glints. And then he's fussy as well. In my head, he's like, oh, cute. In my head, he's like a little, either a mama's boy or a papa's boy. I've not decided yet. Oh my gosh, look at the little arrows. Well, this is so freaking cute. I don't even know where I got this from, but I love it. This feels very like on brand for the series for me. And I love it. Oh my gosh, look at him. His little pool outfit. He looks like such a little farm boy. That part of him is so keen eye because keen eye did as well. And look, once I've knitted it, he'll be able to wear this. Here, you can be a little, is it a little tiger? You can be a little tiger for bed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is little Espen. Absolutely adorable. Pure Ivy. Absolute pure Ivy. And just, oh, has he got his little tooth missing in the middle as well? Wait, Ivy does as well. <gasps> Wait, oh no. What, <laughs> what teeth have you got? Have you got little vampire teeth? I don't even know what your teeth are doing, but okay. And then we've also got little Prim, who is absolute the spit of Kenai. And her teethies are very normal. TVs. Okay, and then they are all aged up. Should we check them out in the wild? Or should we knit something for them? I feel like we should. Oh, she's come back from work. She's stressed. Desperate for fun. Well, it's just your lucky day because not only did I decorate the garden, but you can have some fun with your little babies. You can do that really cute play animation. Oh, you're sad because you want more toys. No, we don't like waste in this house. You'll enjoy the toys you've got and you'll make do. <laughs> and I need a toddler room. And right now there's no room for a toddler room unless I made them sleep separately. Guys, we're running out of space. I might have to take away some of this cute area here, which would be so sad because it's such like a feature from the front of the house. But like, what am I supposed to do? Can the kids even get down the stairs? I don't think they can. I don't think they can. Look at Ivy in her little work clothes. Oh my gosh, Koda, I love you, but move out the way, babes. Oh, yes, this is what we live for. When the animation actually works properly, it was Koda like watching then going up and down. This is literally what we live for in Sims. This cute little baby animation is so adorable. And then I think upstairs, the same thing is about to be happening here too with these ones. Oh, tell me this family isn't the most, oh no. I was gonna say, tell me it's not the most wholesome family you've ever seen, and then. Why does it do that? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Look at the kid just staring, being like, what are you doing, Dad? Are you okay? Dad's like, look what this family can do with their wrists. <laughs> Cat's cradling all over the place. Okay, really, really weird, but whatever. Emil is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Oh my gosh, we have to bring the toddlers over and show them. Wait, why can't I bring the toddlers? Are you kidding? Okay, fine. You guys are going to have to come over here instead. Okay, everyone's coming over to meet the toddlers and see our newly landscaped garden with chickens just rubbling in amongst the lavender. It's all very cute. Emil's got a little skip in his step. And I'm gonna check if he's single. Oh, and what? My mama's just messaged me. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, well, we're not sure. You know, guys, a bit too old. I actually want to see if it works, though. So I'm just gonna be like, do it. Try for a baby. Mom, get out of the knitting chair. I need it. I need the knitting chair. Can I knit anywhere? No, I need the knitting chair. Mom, sorry, you need to, because I need to knit some stuff for the children. Where is the toddlers? Children ain't gonna help me and i've just realized i have no idea how to get espen down so put espen down here i don't think he's gonna be able to though because how can he get down the stairs whilst holding the child unless he just throws him down which i don't want him to do so i think i'm gonna have to teleport the children down and oh my gosh look she's off in the ball pit the ball pit that still looks kind of trash However, I don't even care because she's playing in it. Cute little mini Kenai baby. Little Prim Prim playing in the ball pit looking super cute. Ivy's in here furiously knitting clothes for all of her children because this is the way that she has chosen to roll. <gasps> and then we're putting this little bubble of ruin here. Okay, I think he's a daddy's boy. In my head, I just feel like he's a little daddy's boy. Look at him. I'm glad we went for the tub tub cheeks because I like that he looks like a little tubster. So cute. So adorable. Don't know why we're doing all this at night, but Kenai's like, yes, this is so 
cute. So cute. I knew Kenai would make an awesome dad. You just knew it about him. You just knew that he would. This is so cute. I want to make toddler clothes so badly, but I'm just not that knitting schedule yet. And we're catching up with our gram-grams. I'm going to lift some more stuff on Plopsy. Dad's here doing a bit of cleaning for us on his one leg. Thank you so much, Dad. <gasps> and look, little Bun Bun is playing with little King. I've realized I really need some lights in my garden, so I'm going to get on that real quick. I don't want any with a higher power consumption rating though, so we're going for like these little eco light vibes. And I kind of love in that everyone's inside being like, oh yeah, we'll come around and meet the toddlers, but instead they're actually all inside chatting. But Kina is outside enjoying the toddler caring for lifestyle. She's so cute. Look at her. Meow. Oh, good job. You did it. You look kind of confused and kind of shocked, but you did it. Well done, baby. So cute. And look at these guys in here doing some serious splashing. I want to get a pool now because I feel like already Aspen likes swimming. Like, I feel like he's so down for that. And I kind of want to make a little pool for when he's a child. And we have to do my favorite animation of all. They won't face the right way because they never do. Why do I always miss this? Why do they always face the wrong way? Every single time. Do you know how much it hurts me when you do this? Everyone's heading off. Okay, bye. Ivy's like, didn't even know she's leaving because all I've been doing is knitting. I am the knit queen. And what are we going to do about this toddler sitch? The toddlers can't go upstairs because they can't get up the ladders. Which means that we have to keep the toddlers downstairs. Which means that I'm kind of feeling like we might need to have a joint bed, Ivy. We don't have to like get down to business or any of that business. But I think just for our children's sake, they're going to need a room. I've had to extend. There was no way to fit it in with the current sizing. So I had to extend it. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm putting absolutely everything into this room. I'm getting all the puffer head pack stuff. They don't need little packs yet, to be fair. Little, little mobiles. I just want it to look really cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're not even magical, but you know what? You don't have to be magical to be into Harry Potter, you know? <gasps> A wand box. No, shut up. I just spent the last of my money on a wand and it was a great decision. Don't go regret it at all. Was a toddler going to care about a wand? No. Would a toddler care more about, oh my gosh, toddler wants more than this. Okay, fine. Forget the wand. Goodbye, wand. Oh. <gasps> everything everywhere. This is the cutest toddler's room ever. I need a rug, but I don't have a rug. You may have this one, just because you need something. And this is our little room together. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute. Look at this whole room. Oh my gosh, adorable. I don't even have stuff like a potty or a high chair <laughs> or anything. Mom's trapped. I gotta let her out. I can't even knit anything. Somebody buy something off Plopsy, please. And it's late. Let's read. Can we both read to them at the same time? Please, 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 please. I have such trouble making my sims read to their toddlers. It just doesn't happen. Okay, please do this. Please do this. Please, please, please. I will cry of cuteness if y'all do this. <gasps> All the right things are happening. All the right things are happening. He's dressed in his little white tiger outfit. Are you guys doing the same thing? No one else is coming in. Okay. But I put a little chair for whoever's reading them to bed to be able to read them to bed. This is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. He's so baby. <gasps> Espen's got the imagination school. Espen's asleep. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing up? Why are you up eating a cake? Nobody agreed to that. Why are you up eating a cake? Okay, no, you're meant to be in bed. Toddlers are so hard. Okay, he's sat on the bed reading, which I love. I love it when they sit on the bed. Look at these vibes. Kenai becomes more handsome when he's in dad mode. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that just... And then look at this little bubble of rue. <gasps> Why you look so sad for? It's because your brother's got cake and you've got no cake. I would be sad too. Look at him in full dad mode. It's literally melting my heart. It's melting my heart. You're gonna have to put this one to bed next because I can't believe he's got up to eat cake. What was he even thinking? <gasps> she's asleep. That took her no time at all. Get to bed, you little naughty nugget. Ivy can't help because obviously she's knitting. And if you're knitting, you can't do anything else. Knitting is serious business. And both toddlers are asleep. I'm gonna go ahead and set all the lights here to all Auto lights all to try and save a bit of power. Also so that the toddlers hopefully stay asleep. Number one. And number two. Kenai is heading to bed. Straight away he's known to go into this bed. Which sounds like, oh, it's such a big deal. Why make it such a big deal about a bed? Because this isn't his bed. So the fact that he's getting up and going into this bed is actually a pretty huge deal. He is getting into the left. No, he's getting into the right side. That's Ivy's side. Is she going to get into the same bed, though? I don't know if she will or not. I'm very intrigued to learn what she's going to do. And one of the toddlers is up already. Are you kidding me?
hear me? You're hungry. Oh, you can play with the rocking chair. No way, no way, no way. Oh. The toddlers can interact with her. Oh my gosh. What do they do? Oh, she's rocking in the chair. Okay, that is a whole mood. That is freaking adorable. I am so there for that. I am so there for that. Oh, she's going up the ladders. She's going up. Is she gonna get in the same bed as him? If she does, this will be the first time they've ever slept in the same bed since living together. So this could be a pretty huge deal. <gasps> Oh, babes. No! Oh my gosh, you were so close. You guys have woo-wooed. Why have you just woken up at this exact moment? No. I feel like you guys can do this. I feel like you can do it and you won't complain. <gasps> oh my gosh, first time. Yes. Don't you miss in the old games where they'd like spoon and hoggle in bed? Why don't they do that anymore? I do not know. It's really annoying, but another wholesome, successful episode. I love the changes to the house. I love the way that the twins look. We've got an extension on the house now. We've got a really cute, wild little garden going on. Let me know what you guys think about it. And also let me know what you think about little Aspen and the pro. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. Give me some ideas in the comments below. Do we go for Aspen or Aspen or Misha? I do not know which is the right one to go for. I'm kind of leaning on Aspen though. So let me know what you guys think. And I shall see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.